In this tutorial, we will see how to remove duplicate rows with VBA programming. On this sheet, I have some data in four columns and in this data, column A has customer IDs more than one times. So here, if we look at this data, then we can see customer ID 1003 has more than one lines. So the task is to have one line of data, one row for each customer ID. So I will do this task with the help of VBA code. I have one command button on this sheet. So when I click on this command button, we can see that duplicate rows are removed and we have just one line for each customer ID. Here we can see that now we have only one line for customer ID 1003. So let's see what is the VBA code for this and how to develop that VBA code. So what I have done, I have already saved same data on sheet 2 in the same file. So let me increase the width of each column. And then what I'll do, I'll go to developer tab. And then here we have different ActiveX control. So we will click on insert. And then from ActiveX control, I'll select a command button and I will drag a command button on sheet two. We can rename this command button. So for that, we can right click and then select properties. And here in caption, we can give whatever name we want. So let me say, click to remove duplicate. Now I'll close this window and then to write VBA code on command button, I will double click on this command button. This will take me to VBA editor window. So whatever code we want to get executed on the click of this command button, we will write here. Let's understand what is the logic that we can use here. First of all, I will sort data. And during sorting, I will consider column A so that same customer IDs are in continuous way. And then the second logic that I will use, like if we have two consistent rows for only customer ID 1003, then the logic I will be using is if this cell is equal to previous cell, then remove this row. So let's see what is the code that we can use here. So again, I'm on VB editor window to select entire data. I'll write code as worksheets and then name of sheet is sheet two dot cells dot select. Once we press enter formatting is done automatically in VBA. So let me write a comment so that we can understand this code is to select entire data. Once we select the data, next task is to sort data. So let me write a comment again for sorting data. So what is the code for data sorting? So I will use with with active workbook dot worksheets. Here again, we will give name of sheet that is sheet two dot sort. So closing statement for with is and with and between with and and with we will write some VBA code like dot set range 
space range and we have data in four columns and columns are a to d so here i will write a colon d so this would be applicable for column a b c and d and then dot header we have headings in this data so dot header equal to excel yes and then orientation that means we want to sort top to bottom and then dot apply so this code will simply sort the data once data is sorted we can write code for removing duplicates but before removing duplicate rows i want to check that how many filled rows are there basis on the first column so for that i'll use code as last row equal to worksheets in bracket i'll give name as sheet 2 dot cells and then we can say rows dot count comma 1 1 is for column a dot and in bracket we can say excel up dot row so in this variable last row we will we are storing number of cells filled in column a so that will decide how many rows we have in our data now i'll use for loop and if statement to remove duplicate rows so let me start with keyword for i equal to two to last row or instead of this i would say i equal to last row to two step by minus one and then closing statement for for loop that is next so why i'm using last row to two that means loop will start from bottom to top or from bottom to second row and this will move step by step so here i am giving step by minus one so between for and next keyword i'll use if worksheets and then sheet name that is sheet two dot cells then i comma one dot value equal to so let me copy some code if this cell is equal to previous cell that means i minus one then what we need we want We want worksheet worksheets in brackets sheet two dot rows in bracket I'll say I dot select. So if the one cell value is equal to previous cell value then one cell or current row we want to select and then delete that row to delete row i am writing code selection dot delete space shift colon and equal to excel up and here we can close the if statement with the keyword and if so this is the simple vba code 
that I expect will remove duplicate rows from any data set. If data is little bit changed, that means columns are increased or decreased or length of data is increased or decreased, we need to change little bit in this VBA code and it will work perfectly. So let's check. Let me minimize this VBA window. And here on this command button, we are in design mode. So I'll go to developer tab and I'll click on design mode so that we can click on this command button and we want VBA code to be executed. Now let me click on this command button. There is some error. So the error is spelling for this worksheets keyword. So let me correct it worksheets. And then let me minimize this window and click on this command button. Once I click this command button, then we can see that duplicate rows are removed. And now we have one row for one customer ID. So this is how we can develop some instant VBA code by following some easy steps and we can automate our reports. So let's see the VBA code one more time. First of all, sorting data. And before sorting, we can select the data by using worksheets dot sales dot select method. Once data is sorted, then counting total filled rows and assigning that number to a variable. Here I have used column A. However, we can change this one to two, three, four or five basis on the given data set and requirement. Once it is done, then we can use for loop and within for loop, we can use if statement and logic is that if current row cell is same as previous rows cell then delete current current sorry then delete current row so thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more VBA training tutorials. Thank you.